Hey fam, enjoy our week. So Danielle and I are currently getting ready to go to Kroger. I just got off work. We're gonna go get some much needed groceries and <laughs> you're an idiot. We're gonna get some much needed groceries and uh, grab a little bit of bite to eat from the food court there because it's absolutely awesome. And um, we gotta get Zoe upstairs first. Zoe, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go, get upstairs. It's actually pretty easy. Normally she makes us fight a lot. All right, so we'll uh, we'll send some clips at you guys and let you see what we did. Maybe fill you in a little bit on what we've done today, which nothing <laughs> on Danielle's part has been absolutely nothing. Uh, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so um, I am heading out. It is like nine o'clock at night, um, but I'm heading out to go get some potato chips <laughs> because I just am. I'm being so lazy, like, uh, my last semester of school was super, not super hard, but it was a lot more demanding than I've ever had school before, so, one minute, so, now that I'm done, and I'm done with, like, my huge capstone project, I am, I've literally went into coma mode, and I cannot pull myself out. I think the hardest part is that I know I have to start a full-time job in like a month. So I, I just, I'm like, no, let's just be freaking lazy and really fat and just lay around all day. Like, I seriously think in the last two weeks, I've probably gained like 10 pounds. <laughs> and I mean, I'm like right now, I'm just like, yeah, that's fine. I know I'm going to start like a new routine, a new lifestyle, a new job. So, I mean, I'm not trying to make excuses for myself. Like, I'm fully confident with being lazy. And I know that that's what I'm doing. And I'm okay with it. So, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> because today, I didn't do my face or my hair. I sat on the couch the whole day. I mean, I was on the computer working on stuff. Because I work on computers. So, like, I can still get stuff done and sit on the couch. But, I mean, I didn't, I didn't move. <laughs> So I'm going out to get a bag of potato chips because I just want some and that's my night guys It's riveting around here right now Okay, so We're in the same outfit as yesterday because I slept in it Don't judge. We've all done it. I'll change my clothes eventually but um, I took the dogs for a long walk and we went to the dog park on complex and hung out there for a little while the plan for today is to make a plan for the rest of my little summer three week break thing that I've got before we start moving to Kansas City. So <clears throat> I know yesterday I told you I was being lazy. I am. I'm okay with that. But maybe just a little less lazy. I'm going to get a plan going so maybe I can figure out what my life is going to be like for the next couple weeks. So that's what we're doing today. We're also going to clean. Why are we cleaning like every day? This adulting is hard. We just have to clean the house all the time. But yeah, I'm gonna make lunch for Skylar and then make a plan. Okay, so now I'm all dressed and ready for the day. I have some things I need to get done. Um, I previously made like a routine to-do list type of thing. Whenever I feel like I'm stuck in like a lazy rut, I always write out my routine of what I want to do and what I want to accomplish um, and I'm really strict with myself so I say like at 12 I want to do this at 12 30 I want to do this and so on and so on and so on and it, it just helps me get out of a rut I use that routine for like a few days and then I feel a lot more motivated and capable to do things on my own <laughs> without the routine so right now um, we need groceries so I'm headed off to the grocery store and that's it. Yep. That's gonna go to the grocery store and it just started raining. So what fun. Look at all of this food. I'm gonna go home and make a tasty snack now. We filled up our two big recyclable bags so much that I had to get another one. Today I didn't vlog at all. Apparently Danielle did. So that's good. At least we have some content there. Um, we just finished doing our Pathfinder session, which was pretty fun. Uh, and then we were sitting around just relaxing and we started thinking like 
man, you know, we suck at the whole eating healthy thing. <laughs> We're bad at it. We don't work out, so we should probably do something about that. And Danielle had actually went today and bought a lot of groceries, and we always buy healthy groceries. You know, they saw. So you'll have seen that. But then we go out and we eat food. Like today we went to sushi, which is probably the best choice we actually have for eating because generally we make unhealthy decisions. But Sushi's. it's our dinners. Yeah, dinners, dinners like, are the only things that we yeah, really I'm mess dying. up on. I never want to make anything and you like, don't want to make anything. We, we're, we're champions throughout the day. We don't eat anything bad, really. And then we get home and we're like, let's go get sushi, let's have pizza. So what we decided to do, and what Danielle's working on right now, is we decided to put in place a um, corkboard meal plan where we can have a, the days of the week listed and then have a bunch of meals that we just shift and put on the board whenever it's that time to eat. So I'll show you guys a little video of that right now. I'll actually turn you around, but on iPhones you can't turn people around, so I have to stop the video. This is our little corkboard meal plan. <laughs> uh, in the works. We have the days of the week and then we have the meal which we have one thing done so far. What um, do you want on Friday? Here's our options. Gonna be, Wednesday is going to be the burger night, right? Today's Wednesday. Oh, today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So Wednesday we're having crock pot. No, no, no. I thought we were going to do... Yeah, you're yeah. right. Wednesday we're having the crock pot. Thursday. Do you I want don't it? know. But we'll get to it in a second. And here we have the finished product. There it is. We're going to figure out one more meal. So that way we have one for every week. Yeah. And then as we get more, we'll collect them over here. Oh, that's smart. So yeah, but this Saturday we don't have... Um, I won't be here. I'm spending uh, the weekend in Indy with the family. Having a good old fun time. I'll make sure to vlog that for you guys. But so Saturday doesn't much matter this week. But we'll get yeah. another one. I'll probably order takeout. Takeout for Danielle on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, are you still vlogging me? Yes. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I've got a busy day today. Um, I'm going to spend most of the day in the office. So I'm probably not going to vlog much until afterwards. I'm officially like acting like Skylar right now with no vlogging during the day. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I have a meeting this morning. And then I have to assist an online class later on. So I'm just going to stay at the office and get a whole bunch done. This morning was super productive for me. I woke up at like 7.30 before Skylar left for work. Because I knew I had to get ready for this meeting. And because um, I had to make like all of the food for the day. So I made myself breakfast. And then I made Skylar's lunch. And then I made my lunch. And then I made dinner in a crock pot already so all the food is prepped and ready to go for today um we're being super healthy we're trying to with our meal plan and just like i don't know just changing our lives so um i've got coffee lemon water lunch let's go so i just got home from work and stirred the crock pot and now we are at the dog park and it is super nice outside i'm like squinting because it's so bright out and the dogs are loving it and it's so nice so i think i might convince skylar to go out somewhere with me tonight like go maybe we'll go to the big dog park instead of just the one here on our complex we just need to be outside today like we cannot be lazy and just sit inside it's so nice out it, it, Skylar's probably gonna say it's hot, but it's really it's warm. <laughs> I can wear a tank top, and I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a sunburn, not a suntan, that's for sure. But we're just gonna play at the dog park until Skylar gets home. And oh, Zephyr's running over here. It's so cute. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait and see what he wants to do. Why are you on the floor? He's comfy. He's <laughs> going to roll like that. Yeah. What are you playing? Hearthstone. Rare. Starfall. You got some cards? Mm-hmm. Explosive trap. What have we been doing yeah. since you got home from work? Relaxing. This? Mm-hmm. On this episode of Daniel Bailey Tries to Get Her Shit Together, we are going to put away the laundry. Skylar and I are super bad about putting our laundry away. We just really hate it. <laughs> I hate it. So, 
when we have to put it away, it becomes a huge ordeal because we've avoided it and we have a bajillion baskets. So <clears throat> I just got out of the shower and I couldn't find anything to wear because everything is in a basket and I'm mad about it. So we're going to tackle the laundry. This is the current state of our closet. Um, all of these bags on the floor are meant to have my sisters go through or take them to like Plato's Closet or Goodwill or something um, because I started a capsule wardrobe. Um, I didn't want to move to Kansas City with a whole bunch of clothes so I got rid of like all of those clothes and I just have like a little section over here and then Skylar has his section. So if you want to know more about my capsule wardrobe, I'm going to do a blog post. It should be up by the time this vi video goes up, so check that out on my blog. Danielle and I have just gotten home from Barnes & Noble and we are currently going to take the dogs out and then we have a little unboxing for you guys because we got something that we are very excited about. See you in a little bit. Okay fam, look what we invested in. We got a brand new vlogging camera. This is the Olympus Stylus TG870. Um, it's got a flip up cam so we can see ourselves. But the reason we got this one is because it is... It is considered, that's why it has this little thing on the box. If you see it here, tough. It tough. So if we were going to vlog... On. You keep talking. I want to read. If we were going to vlog every day, we wanted to have a camera that shot decent quality. Like, I mean, our, our camera phones are okay. We're decent with that. Um, but this is great quality, and it's tough. We can drop it. We can throw it around, and we don't have to worry about anything. There's other cameras out there that are about the same price and have a lot of the same functionality, but they weren't shock, they weren't tough, durable, durable like this. And yeah. that's why we fell in love with this one. We've been thinking about it since we started doing these vlogs, and we finally decided, you know what? Let's just get it. Make an investment. It'll be nice. Yeah. This way we can take it hiking with us. We don't have to carry it. And me, a big thing for me is like our uh, DSLR. When I'm holding it, when I'm using it, I'm just so afraid of breaking it. Yeah, I'm it's scared. So, it has a hefty feel to it, but it also just feels, I don't know, expensive. <laughs> but with this thing, I, I picked it up at the uh, at Best Buy. We were playing around with it. Man, I, could, I feel like I could throw it on the floor and not care about it, which is honestly an amazing thing for me. Uh, according to the side of the box here, Oh, you can't see it. How's that? Right there. There you go. According to the size of the side of the box, this thing is submergible up to 50 feet. So a lot of people actually take it underwater, and yeah. it is an underwater camera for them, which is pretty cool. You can drop it from 7 feet. It can be in temperatures of 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely awesome. It has a GPS mode. I do not know if it actually can handle heat that well because it's not listed. But oh. those are the things that it can do. But it can do cold. It takes really good videos. Uh, we, yeah. We've been watching a guy who does outdoorsy stuff, and it's pretty awesome there. Yeah. So. so it's pretty comparable to any GoPro. Pro. Um, but from our research, it's better because it, it has the front facing screen and because the audio is better, which is good for vlogging. When you people do GoPros, they usually like vo just uh, put music over it, but we're talking. So let's get into the unboxing, babe. Right. You do it. Okay. So let's see if I can't break this because you know I will. Crap, a bunch of more crap. <laughs> Don't care about that, just get out of the way. We're gonna read. We got CDs, which are so outdated. You can get them all online anyway. And then we have cords. Should I open those or no? No. Okay, cords. Yeah, fun. We have. For the computer. Battery. We should get a couple more of these if we wind up. Yeah, I wonder if they really actually, good. if you can buy them. I'm, I'm sure you can buy them individually. And then dun 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 dun. 
you have the... You didn't take this out. Oh, well, I spoiled that. It's okay. <laughs> is that like a charge pack? What is Oh, we have a hand strap. That's and then nice. here's the charging block. And then the charging block, which okay. looks like an iPhone. All right. Get out of here, cardboard. And then we have the actual camera itself. It's pretty tough looking. Look at this. I like, it's actually got the word tough printed on it. You didn't I think know, it would? I, I thought it was a sticker. Look at what, this? I didn't yeah, see they it. have like this heavy duty metal clip. That's where the uh, hand thing will go. So I'll let Danielle talk about it real quick and walk you through some of what it looks like. I'm gonna play with the hand thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. So size wise, it's pretty decent. And weight, it's actually really light. light. It's very light. Yeah, it's really great. Um, this is the flip up screen. So you've got a black, a blank back over here. And then we've got the flip up screen. So when we vlog we can see ourselves let's go ahead and we will stop recording we'll fire it up get everything set up and then maybe we'll come back and talk about it a little bit cool is it videotaping mm -hmm. just press that button and you're good to go you yeah. zoomed in still i think holy shit you zoomed in there we go it's pretty good hi 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 Hi. <laughs> All right, so this is our new vlogging camera. This is the footage through it, so. Hi, does it look any better? I mm -hmm. hope it does. Does well, it? We won't see because it's a little crappy, uh, what do you call it? Screen. Screen. The screen doesn't show that it's amazing. It's gonna take me a while to get used to not staring at me. Oh, crap. I've versus been, staring here I've been staring at up the entire time. Now, there shouldn't be that big of a difference, but you might notice. We'll get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we did the same on our iPhones. We'd look at ourselves instead of looking at yeah, the camera. Yeah, that made us look off to the side, though. It's really kind this of This might be a lot more natural <laughs> if yeah. we just look up. It's not bad, though, because I can talk to here. I can see. It should look like I'm reading off a teleprompter a little bit. I hope the audio is all right. I hope we sound good. Yeah, that'll be something interesting to see as well. Well, this was our little demo tape. Yeah, I'm so excited. So Danielle has asked me to get the wine. And pour her a glass. So that's what I'm going to do. Because she's an alcoholic. Thank you, baby. Weep. That's a big old glass. You know how I like it. Weep. Sit right there. I'll probably drink it all tonight. Good night. Good morning. So I'm home on break right now. Danielle is currently cutting me up a cantaloupe because she's absolutely awesome. Um, we are sitting here and making our itinerary for the rest of the day that we're planning on doing. Um, I have You want work. more than that or is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's good. I at work am just working on getting through a Friday. I have two more after this, and then I'll be done at Stonebell, which will be fun. Yeah, I'm almost done with work. It'll be I'm glorious. While I'm at work, Danielle's gonna go grocery shopping for a few things. Well, like, not really grocery shopping, more yeah, like uh, necessity shopping. Shopping. She's gonna go shopping. She's gonna get a few things that we need around the house. And then, can I have a spoon? Yes. That'll be awesome. And then we're planning on going to the big uh, DP, which is Dog Park, tonight. And that'll be fun for the dogs. And then tomorrow, well tonight I have to pack everything because tomorrow I'm doing a family event thing in Indy with uh, my sisters and my father and my mother. And we will be going to a zoo and watching a movie and stuff like that. So that's where we are. Bye. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick car haul because I was just laughing at the stuff that I got at Target because it's so random. So, I went out to get deodorant for Skylar and toothpaste and these Febreze things, which are kind of weird. Uh, no, they're like things that you need, so that isn't a weird combination. But then I texted Skylar and I was like, we're all out of avocados. Would you like one for breakfast tomorrow? So I have one single avocado. And then I looked at the makeup stuff and got um, this Wet n Wild contouring palette. 
So that's weird. And then <clears throat> they're having, these were only like a dollar and the dogs have destroyed theirs. So I got this. So that is my strange ass haul. So dog toy, smellies, makeup, a single avocado. Oh, can I hold all this? Ah, a single avocado, toothpaste, and deodorant. I think the weird part here is the avocado. <laughs> Just one avocado. Not like I needed a whole bunch. Just one. So that's what I got at Target, and it was so funny to check out with all that. I was just laughing at myself. Now we're gonna head home. Skylar should be home. Oh, he still has about two hours. So I think I'm going to write a blog post and play with the dogs. Okay, so I just came back from taking the dogs on a little walk, and I am going to present them with their toy and let's see how they react. It's been a long time since they've gotten a new toy. Put you down right here. Gonna... We barely ever buy toys for them, so. Hey guys, they're getting water. Look at what I got. You want this? Oh my gosh, what is it? A new rope? Oh, yes. All right, so I just got home off work and me and Danielle are currently planning on going to get me a haircut because I <laughs> desperately need one. It's a little long up there. A little long, it's kind of long. So we're gonna go get me a haircut, probably gonna cut it short because while this is cool, the whole sweepy swishy thing that is like the popular thing to do, I am not a fan of it. Uh, you have to style it. I'm not a fan of the upkeep. I'm yeah. a very simple, basic guy, which is why we got a tough, rugged camera so that I can break it and be mean to it and not have to take care of it. So, we're going to cut it short, probably. And then we're going to go to the dog park. Whoops. <laughs> the dog They're going to get so excited. Uh, then we're going to go to the dog park and we'll vlog some of that because the dog park is absolutely awesome. All right, everyone. We have officially got my haircut. Looks fleek, I know. You probably can't see it very well because of the lighting. Fleek um, as... Oh, that's nice right there. That's good. We need to get an angle. Pop. Put it right there. So me and Danielle are now currently on our way to the dog park, Ferguson Dog Park. The big one. The big one. And uh, we'll go ahead and take some videos for you there. Yep. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's going to be a good day. Uh, outside, the weather is absolutely so nice. beautiful. Yes. It's probably in the 70s with like 20% humidity, yeah. which, which for Indiana... It's not humid. That's which, the yesterday is the same degrees. It was like 70 degrees, but 68, 70% humidity. Mm -hmm. It was dying. I was sweating my butt off the entire day. But yeah, today is a beautiful day. Great day for the dog park. And it's Friday, so everyone's happy. So it'll be fun. Today is Saturday morning at about 9.32 a.m. I am getting ready to head out to Indy to meet my family at a theater where we are going to be seeing The Huntsman, I think. And then that'll kick off our day. We'll go to the zoo and do all that stuff and I'll give you guys lots of footage on it. Even though the majority of you who are going to be watching this are going to be with me. So. We have arrived at the theater. I have met up with my family, my clan. <laughs> There's dad, mom. Jillian, Sarah, and myself. We just got done with the Huntsman. We are currently heading out to lunch. It was good. It was a good movie. Better than the first. I didn't Chris see the first. Stewart wasn't in it. I didn't see the first, but there's no you Kristen Stewart. Because in what world, in what world is Kristen Stewart hotter than Charlize Theron? There's father. Ha, 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 ha.
We have made it to the Indianapolis Zoo. It is very cold today. I don't know exactly what it is, but it feels like 40. Cold. <laughs> and it's windy and it's blustery. But we're gonna go see some animals because animals. the Odles have something set in mind and damn right we're gonna do it. We're like the postal service. Uh, <laughs> this is the dog shark enclosure where you can actually pet the sharks and they will let you pet them. Is that not crazy? My spirit animal is totally a bear. There's a baby monkey here. A baby gibbon to be exact. A baby gibbon. He's fighting with the mama saying, I want the snack. Give it to me. I'm running. His mama? Oh, that's a good video. Coco and Elliot. Monster, it's awesome, isn't it? This is scary. Oh, he's so pretty. Down there. He is on lookout for all the other ones while they play. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lion. Yeah, we'll go see him in a moment. If I can get the mother to look at us, it'd be great. That's the mom right there. She's so pretty. We have the babies over here. Little babies. He's grumbling a little bit. He ain't happy to have all these people gawking at him. Poor dude. There you go. Okay, so we are in the middle of Indy right now. We just got into the hotel. The girls, Sarah and Jillian, have gone off to watch their concert at Verizon. No, the Eclipse Center might be the same thing. Me and Mother are sitting outside of Tavern on South. Is that the sign? Yeah, Tavern on South. We're about to get us some pub food, which will be fun. So, uh, it is Sunday morning, and I am currently heading back to Bloomington. Um, I am about 15 minutes out from Bloomington, actually. Um, the weekend was nice. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we ended up just chilling after the zoo, mostly. Me and Mom went to... I think the last thing I showed you guys was we went to the tavern. It was pretty good food. Uh, all three of us had a bison burger, which was pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. It was expensive, but it was tasty. And then we just went back to the hotel and we uh, we chilled, watched the movies, and had kind of a relaxing night while the girls uh, enjoyed their time at their concert. I guess someone Lambert. I guess maybe a singer of country music, but I doubt. I don't know. Regardless, they had fun, we had fun, and then we had a warm breakfast this morning, and now we are headed back to Bloomington. Fun stuff. We hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, make sure you check out my corresponding blog post. Um, it'll be linked down below, so you can check out the blog post with more pictures and some words and writing from us as well. And then don't forget to come back next week. Um, we'll probably be packing for Kansas City next week. If you want to be notified whenever we post, subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll see you again next week. Bye!